fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your perspective, mushrooms do not come labeled in nature. And it really becomes apparent whenever you find a log full of edible mushrooms, you get really excited, and then five feet away, you find poisonous mushrooms that resemble the edible mushrooms. And such is the case with a log that I found about 20 feet behind me, it's a fallen birch tree. I found brick cap mushrooms, Hypholoma lateridium, a very common mushroom found in late November. Five feet away, I found a deadly Gallarina mushroom, Gallarina marginata, Gallarina autumnalis. These are the Latin names for it. And you can see the similarities or differences between the two. Now, this log is really exciting way behind me because there are probably 10 to 15 different fruiting species right now of fungi. So I'm going to explore that a little further. And they're all trying to break down the lignin in that wood, maybe the cellulose and the hemicellulose as well. But the Hypholoma lateridium, this is an edible mushroom. If you're unfamiliar with this, I did a detailed identification video on this. I'll link to that, check that one out. But it's got a brick color to the cap, so it's somewhat reddish. The underside has whitish gills that turn grayish, purplish with age. And the spore print is important because it drops a purple brown to a blackish spore print. There's somewhat of a purplish ring zone around the stem as well, and it tends to grow in clusters. Brick caps are edible when cooked. And then I found deadly gallerina mushrooms, maybe five feet away, many clusters of them as well. This is a beautiful mushroom, but it is a poisonous, it is a toxic mushroom, so definitely do not eat this one right here. Like the brick top mushroom, I did a video on this one. I'll link to it, check that one out. I compared it to the honey mushroom because typically they grow the same time of year and they look like one another, but the honey mushrooms are on their way out. It is late November right now. Brick caps are in, and so you might see them on the same log, which is what I did about 20 feet behind me. What's interesting is that deadly gallerina mushrooms contain poisonous compounds known as amatoxins, the same amatoxins found in deadly amanita mushrooms. And what's interesting is that research shows that certain specimens of deadly gallerina can contain amatoxins in concentrations greater than the concentrations found in amanita mushrooms. So this is not one to be eaten for the table, it's one to be appreciated in the wild, you know. Both of these mushrooms are helping to break down the wood behind me. And this is an important role in this particular ecosystem. So whenever you're foraging for wild mushrooms, don't fear the poisonous mushrooms. Appreciate them, get to know them, and understand the roles that they are performing. It only keeps you on your toes and keeps you intentional with your foraging practices. So get out there, look for some mushrooms, take spore prints, and enjoy the hunt.